watching watching film from from Syracuse you know as Norell was just in here and said you know you guys know it worst defensive performance of the year but yeah, you played we, played well for for six games what what kind of went wrong for you guys oh we didn't we didn't didn't execute I mean I've been talking about execution all all year it's 11 men uh, doing their job and we didn't do that uh, Saturday just 10 guys in the right spot and the 11th guy either we didn't contain the edge on the pass rush or right we didn't spill the power it's just one guy one, one little thing and he just gets out of the game you got a big time running back like him he can do that and also a big quarterback can run he was very very fast and very long stride um and so he you got him going it's hard to really get the angle on him and, and pull him up and so those little deep minor details is really what happened over and over again and these guys beat so as Norell said though you guys still seem like a pretty confident group going forward yeah. considering what you guys yeah. did in the first six weeks of the season yeah. um we had a pretty complex I'm, I'm not making excuse we had a pretty complex scheme last week to defend the run um but this week's i feel like it's more a lot more simplified uh a lot you can we can play a lot faster and that's where i think playing a lot faster is huge for just uh making plays and getting the job done well, so what stands out to you when watching georgia tech on film i mean a lot of a lot of read option um their quarterback's a dynamic dynamic runner he can run um gonna have to take good angles tackle in space um I mean they're good. They got they got good. They're running back to stud. Number one's really really good. Um, and so we have to shut down the run game and then uh, make them one dimensional and defend the pass. So yeah, uh, I'm I'm sure. I don't know if you've gone up against Malachi Thomas recently, but I'm sure you you know you've worked with him all, all summer. He's a true freshman. What's it What's it been like? What yeah. What does he provide? Because he he gave a spark to that offense. He's got summer. really good vision. Um, didn't really get a goal. Much against him in fall camp because I would really go against the ones and the twos a lot. But he, what I've noticed, he has a really, he has really, really good vision, and um, he's very explosive. He has a good burst, and um, he's just only going to get better. But we've known that he was going to be this since probably beginning of fall camp. Like he's, it's been pretty obvious how good he was going to be. So yeah, he's going to be a player. Dax, mobile quarterback, stud running back, sounds very similar to last week, but yep. the challenge is completely different this week, isn't it? It is. Um, it's more, like I said, they a lot more zone read option. Um, they weren't as big on that um, as Syracuse. Well, this guy, but I mean, they were, but this guy is more of a, a shifty. He can get out the gate, and they also. Um, they do it from every way, though. They're not going to give you one set and just run this play. They're going to give you um, same side zones, um, which is sort of weird what, what we line, the way we uh, line up. But it's it's all the same thing. It's just the way he, the quarterback opens up. He's got always a running threat to that side. So we always have to have a bonus fitter that way. I would say. So it's a, a little bit different that to that perspective. But um, very similar team. Um, they're going to try to run the ball, and we've got to stop it. So. Like our, I like our game plan so far. All right, David Teal out on Zoom. Jax, I, I believe it was you. Maybe, maybe it was one of your teammates said last week that you thought you'd had one of your better Tuesday practices of the year last week. And I'm wondering if, in light of Saturday's result, if you sensed the same energy this week in practice. Oh. I don't know if I said that. I don't know if it was me, but uh, I think that had been. A, I don't think we had been practicing the way we usually had the past couple weeks, in my opinion, the way it's supposed to look. And we definitely got that right today. Um, I can promise you that we practiced the way the game demands. So, um, yeah, I would say. That if if we we I mean execution is always you always have to be you always have to execute during practice execute the call um, show what you know what you're doing but just the running to the ball the thudding up taking good angles the I mean just the little things the finishing of the play is really what we focused on today not just getting to the right spot really just.
getting to the right spot, but giving you the right angle to make a play on the run back, not let him have a two way go so he can so he can go the way and you and you miss a tackle, you know what I'm saying? Really all that stuff, making everybody run to the ball. Just like I said, Jay has been mentioning a lot, but Bud you say it all the time, like the game demands what the game demands, the game demands. You know what I'm saying? There's a standard that the game football has set and we had to live up to that and I feel like we sort of had got lazy the past couple weeks, but we we're gonna get we're getting back to that when it comes to that. So who who led the charge in practice to make sure that that laziness was not repeated? Everybody, the leaders, Norell, Jamari, Allen, um, everybody. I mean, everybody. We know everybody. Everybody. We're older. We're a veteran group. We we know what it feels like when we're flying around, um, doing the little things right, and I, and I can tell like in. It, 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 just, it just felt right today. Everybody was harping on it. All, I mean, the whole D-line, all the safeties, all linebackers, we made a made an effort to do all the little things right today. All the little things, all the little things add up, and I truly believe that's really what's going to set us apart is the little things.